And now joining me is Suborno Isaac Bari, who has at just 12 years of age has made history as the youngest American student of South Asian descent to graduate from Malvern High School on Long Island. He is now set to attend New York University on a full scholarship where he will pursue a bachelor's degree in mathematics and physics. Now, first of all, uh, thank you so much, uh, Isaac, for speaking to us. Uh, and uh, how do you feel after being at, you know, achieving such a feat at just 12 years of age? Uh, it's very amazing. I can't believe that uh, I've been granted this opportunity. I'm so grateful to everyone who made it happen. My parents, my school administration, and especially the people in India who gave me so much publicity and allowed me to get this far. And I uh, think I'd also like to uh, commemorate all the hard work I myself have done to get myself through all of middle school and high school uh, so fast. And it's been a very incredible journey so far, and I can't wait for what lies ahead in college. Now, you're going to study math and physics, and you've also taught an Indian institute before. What is it like to teaching, you know, older people? Uh, it's uh, an amazing experience. They are much more mature and they can really understand all of the concepts that you're saying and the wording which you say them in, even if you stumble on your words or if you feel like you're not explaining them correctly. And they're so understanding of all of your circumstances. And that's why I really enjoy teaching older students, uh, especially younger students who are the ones who are more hungry for selfies and autographs, the ones who don't listen as much, the ones who make more noise, etc. So so really, I've uh, loved teaching uh, older students, and I think that they've been very cooperative. And not only that, but I think lots of them have been enlightened and helped by some of the uh, speeches and lectures that I've given. Right, and it's, and it's an amazing thing that you have done. And how does a 12-year, with a workload of a 20-year-old, go about his day? How do you spend your time outside of academic work? Uh, I love having, uh, I've loved uh, having hobbies, especially uh, chess, badminton, biking, etc. Uh, I've also introduced myself to some new things like piano, but uh, I'm not that good at it yet. I feel like there was so much time for me to spend and uh, there's so much time for me to spend still, especially since it's summer now. And I'm sure that once my courses start at NYU, I will have a, a much more hectic schedule. But uh, as a, a uh, but I think that I still have lots of time to enjoy myself, uh, five or six hours a day. And I think that's enough for me because honestly, many people think that I study nine or 10 hours a day to get good at it. Honestly, I don't because I don't feel that that's necessary to memorize everything and cram uh, every textbook. I think understanding and having that sense of intuition in your mind is good enough for it to stick in your mind. As long as you practice problems every day uh, for even 20 or 30 minutes, that's good enough. So I think that that is, that's all you need. And the rest of my time I spend uh, contributing to uh, myself rather than just studying math and science. So I think that uh, it's not necessary to study that much if you actually understand, understand the concepts behind everything. Well, a very important point made. Uh, exactly. If you know the concept, cracking any situation and any problem will be easy. Thank you so much, Suborno, for joining us and uh, talking to us on NDTV.